Hi, Dr. Matthew J. Trom here from Engineer Inc. And the purpose of this video is to showcase another experiment that I am developing for the at-home online fluid mechanics course. Uh, again, these are laboratory experiments that will be done in conjunction with a completely online undergraduate level mechanical engineering course in fluid mechanics. Um, <clears throat> this one is the fluid properties laboratory and there are two components to it. Um, the first is to measure the density of some fluids of interest and then to measure the viscosity of some fluids of interest. And the two fluids of interest, well one you see here in the frame um, is corn syrup. Um, this is just generic corn syrup. It costs less than two dollars a bottle. And the other is a tub there of liquid water. Um, both of these fluids I've kept uh, in an air-conditioned space um, overnight so they have equilibrated thermally with the ambient environment so I can measure the temperature over here using my little weather station and the temperature of the ambient environment should correspond very closely to the temperature of the fluids and uh, interestingly corn syrup and water are uh, completely dissolvable completely miscible in one another um, and so corn syrup as you can see here I'll tip it over is pretty viscous kind of sloshes slowly back and forth there uh, and water by um, at least relative comparison has a pretty low viscosity and so it turns out you can mix them together uh, various fractions of corn syrup and water to make fluids with a wide range of viscosities that are then measured in this laboratory so you can see back here I've actually come up with uh, 10 different <coughs> combinations um, with ever-increasing mass fractions of corn syrup this one that we're looking at here um, has a mass fraction of 70% corn syrup to 30% water and I can slosh it back and forth. You can see um, its viscosity is slightly higher than that of normal water but certainly not as viscous as the corn syrup that I just showed you. Um, the way that we measure the density is here um, using an inexpensive uh, 10 milliliter graduated cylinder and a trusty um, O-House scale. Um, so we put a particular mass of corn syrup and a particular mass of water um, into one of these containers that you see behind me here, yogurt containers, and mix it up so that it's really well mixed and then pull out um, 10 milliliters and measure the mass and the volume um, of that fluid sample and from the mass and the volume we back out the density and these uh, come out really uh, accurately and as you would expect corn syrup is more dense than water and so as you increase the mass fraction of corn syrup you get ever increasing densities of fluid. Uh, to measure the viscosity some of you are probably familiar with uh, rotary viscometers or falling ball viscometers those of course are very expensive uh, and we're trying to keep things very inexpensive for these take-home laboratories. So what I discovered is a little instrument here called a viscosity cup and the way this works is that it's um, a, a plastic cup that has very precise dimensions. And I'll turn it this way so you can see there's a small hole that's drilled in the bottom and the size of that hole uh, essentially determines how fast fluid will drain out of the cup once the cup is filled. And so the way that this works is that you fill the cup with fluid of unknown viscosity and you time how long it takes the cup to drain. And then there's a conversion chart in which you convert the drain time to a viscosity and then you can use that viscosity uh, for your calculations uh, or your, your additional laboratory experiments. So let me just give you a quick demonstration of how this would work. Um, now I would repeat this experiment a um, statistically meaningful number of times, so probably 11 or 12 times per uh, fluid. So uh, different fluids here, I would run each one of them um, probably 11 or 12 times. I'm just going to do this once to demonstrate for you. Um, I've already done this and it takes about 20 seconds for this guy to drain. So I'll take the viscosity cup, we will stick it in our fluid of unknown viscosity uh, but known mass fraction of corn syrup and I will lift it out of the cup. As I lift it out of the cup, I would start the timing process and you can see there the stream of fluid coming out of the bottom. I know that this process is done and I would stop the time when that column uh, is broken. Essentially the fluid has run out. Oh, there it is. Okay. Fluid has run out, so I would have stopped my stopwatch, recorded that time, and then used a conversion chart to get at the viscosity. 
So this is uh, yet another simple experiment that students can do at home to measure both density and viscosity as part of the Engineer Inc. online fluid mechanics course with at-home laboratories. Uh, stay tuned, I will show you more of these as I develop them, but this is the latest one. I wanted to put it up uh, as soon as I had figured it out. Uh, so that's the end of this video and thank you for your time and attention.